here at CES 2025, where business gets done. I'm Brian Comiskey, Senior Director of Innovation and Trends at CTA. I'm also the futurist here, which means I'm here today to talk about tomorrow. And we're in North Hall, really looking at what tomorrow's enterprise looks like. At CES, 30 to 40% of our exhibitors offer and showcase enterprise technology. So software as a service, FinTech, cybersecurity, cloud, AI, and more are all showcasing what enterprises will be using to really define work, improve operations, and really create more productivity in the future. So why don't you join me as we walk across North Hall and take a look at some of the greatest enterprise innovations on the show floor. textile industry, water scarcity, and even jet design. What do these three industries have in common? Well, a new tech sector is starting to merge all thanks to industrial AI from Siemens. So what we're looking at here are textiles created in a partnership between Spinova and Siemens. My grandfather used to work in the textile industry. It's very labor intensive, it's material intensive. How do we start to make that more sustainable as generations think about how to get more sustainability and green impact out of their clothing? Well, using a virtualization of the textile industry floor from Siemens Industrial AI Technology, they're starting to get those solutions in this wonderful partnership with Spinova. Water scarcity is one of the biggest challenges facing the globe right now. And so how do you start to make smarter filtration systems that can turn things like even seawater with salt into drinking water resources? Again, a partnership here through Siemens Industrial AI working with Way Out to secure and filter more drinking water so that people have greater access to this vital resource. This is incredible, by the way. Air travel connects us from A to B and helps make the world feel a little bit smaller. And we want to see what is the future of air travel look like? How is it more sustainable? So Siemens Industrial AI has made a partnership with Jet Zero to create this blended wing design that you see here. This allows for more efficient air travel, greener air travel. And you're starting to see those partnerships take off, not just in the commercial air travel space for tourism, but also even the military space with the United States Air Force getting involved in this partnership as well. Really transforming and helping the world just feel a little bit more global. And we're continuing our enterprise and B2B story here at CES at Rich Tech Robotics, which is one of my favorite places to go, looking at the Atom and the Scorpion robots behind me. This is an incredible company that has grown from in the hospitality sector to a wide range of B2B solutions across services, whether that's pharmaceutical, the food industry, or even the commercial and hotel industry, through a variety of robots like Adam, who's a barista that has humanoid capabilities. It will make and cater a drink based on your mood and preference with human-like motion is seen it deployed at the Texas Rangers and other businesses and environments and venues across the country. Similarly, we see robots like Dusty that are helping clean floors. You have Titan and Medbot that are helping really bring pharmaceutical drugs across the hospital floor. So when we look at the space and how robotics are really transforming and being a physical representation of AI, the Rich Tech's robotics story is really driving it home. We're at Lotte, one of Korea's biggest brands in the metaverse as well as shopping and retail story. So what we're seeing here is their Caliverse product that helps for 3D visualization and metaverse capabilities to bring the stores of tomorrow directly into your homes today. Oh my gosh, wow, perfect. This is excellent. This is so cool. This is exactly what we're talking about when we're talking about how do we bring the human into the digital world and really coexist with one another. And this is gonna bring and bridge out those gaps in shopping and let people try out brands that they might not be familiar with. So this is incredible, such a wonderful experience. The average CS attendee has 29 meetings per week. And you saw some of this action on the enterprise story in play from Siemens, Rich Tech Robotics, and Lotte showcasing how it's a global business show. You can see the enterprise B2B story really shine here at CS 2025. I really want to thank you for taking this journey with me today.